Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on concentric circles in Photoshop. I'm using 221. This will work in 220, 219, etc. So I've got these concentric circles. I'm just going to remove them. How to create them? Well, first thing to do is I'm going to quickly create a selection. Now I could actually apply the concentric circles. Let's just do that first. Let's go for the full. So filter gallery, there, filter menu, and go down to filter gallery. And then go down here to half tone pattern. You can find that in sketch. So there's sketch there. After all, oh, you just go down this list. I must admit, more often than not, I use this list because I never remember which section it is in. So half tone pattern, just as easy to remember it there. So size, that's as maximum you can go for. You can reduce it so you get very, very, very close lines there. Now, unfortunately, you can't push it beyond 12. No idea why. It would be nice if it was 30, 40, 50. Why not? Do not know. Contrast, you can modify as well, so you can make it blurry, or you can make it sharp. So it makes it slightly more crude, sort of rough there. However, what you need, the key thing is circle. So pattern type is circle. You can also, of course, you can duplicate. It's obviously not so effective, so if you click there and duplicate it, you can obviously vary it. Obviously, no use whatsoever, because it's basically one of the least useful ones with that sort of thing. So you've got your half tone pattern, and let's just push that up to the max. Click OK. That's it. So there it is. Great design, but it fills the entire layer. I don't want that. What I want is just applied to a very narrow area, which I want as a, as a layer. So undo, and I'm just going to quickly go over here and select the rectangle there. Rectangle and elliptical. I want the elliptical one. I just quickly create that. Hold down the shift. Doesn't matter, but I'm just holding down the shift because I want it to be a circle. Once I've done that, again, go over here. I can go for filter gallery just to do it quickly without going back into it again. And there it is. There's the design. Now, Control C, Control V. So edit and copy, and then edit and paste. So edit, copy, edit and paste. Now you can see you've got a layer. I can remove that if I want, so I'm just going to remove that. And you can see now you've got this design here. This is just on its own. There's nothing behind there. Or you can also, what you can do, you can define that as a pattern. So edit and define as pattern. So you've got your pattern design there. Maybe trim it back a bit so you can define that as a pattern. So edit and define as pattern. Or use it as a brush as well if you want to use it as pack. There, yeah. edit. Defined as a brush preset as well. So you've got this design stored away there, but I'm not going to use it, but I just wanted to point out you could use it as a pattern because then you could use it in edit and fill and maybe create pattern designs with it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate it. Hold down the Alt or Option key, that's on the keyboard next to the Command or Control, depending on your machine, and you can just duplicate it just by dragging, and you can see the design there. And you can fill your screen very quickly with these circles if you want to do it that way. And you can create some very nice designs there. But what you can also do with your concentric circles, you can distort it. So you can go to Edit, and then you can go down to Transform, and there's options obviously Scale, Distort, so you can distort it if you want. So you can have a nice little angle it off going in that direction, or maybe go off like that direction. Press the turn. You can also, if you want, edit and transform a perspective and squeeze it and create some nice sort of unusual designs like that. Or you can go to edit and transform and warp. And you can warp the design. You can squeeze it in. Of course, there's some presets as well. So if you want to go through, use those ones. But you can also simply just drag that and squeeze that. You can fold it over as well if you want. Click OK. And of course, what you can do, you can duplicate that design as well. So you can create some very interesting sort of designs like that, very abstract designs that way. However, I'm not going to do that. Well, you can also, if you want to, of course, you can recolor this design. So you can go over here to layer, and you can go to smart objects, convert to smart object. So it's become a smart object. Now you could go and apply some filters, just various filters, a whole range of different filters available. But I'm going to go for image adjustments and then go with maybe color lookup. 
you can apply different colors there or maybe go for image adjustments and hue and saturation and colorize those you can just colorize the design so maybe change the lightness so reduce that down and also change the saturation or maybe change the hue so you can see it goes through a whole range of different there click OK and you've got therefore a colorful design and you can always change it so if you want to go to image adjustments hue and saturation and maybe go for there so you can go for a blue design as well and again you can still apply effects to it as well as go to edit and transform you don't have to have the design exactly the same so again go there and you can press the turn and you can see your design there so you've got your concentric circles in Photoshop, which you can then manipulate and create whole loads of different designs. And if you want to, what you can also do is you can go to Window and Libraries and then just save this design to your library. So you can use it in future projects as an asset. Well, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time about Photoshop, Illustrator and many other applications. Also, if you've got any questions, always please put some in the comments. If something wasn't explained, please let me know. Also a dislike or like. Thank you much.